Once upon a time, a long, long while ago, when I was only seven, I'm nearly eight now, I read a fairy tale. A man named Aesop, I think it was, said that a little friend may someday turn into a great big friend, and I believe it, because it happened to me. My really, truly best friend was a horse, a big and strong and beautiful black horse, the leader of a large herd of wild horses that roamed up and down the valley, free and happy. My daddy promised me a horse all for myself when I got here from back east. He said a boy needs a horse to love, and if it's the right boy, the horse will learn to love him, too. Boy, he's a beauty. No wonder he's the king of the wild herd. I just gotta get him, today. That's for sure, Bob. We can't disappoint that kid of yours. Coming in on the 459, ain't he, boys? Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see him. You know, we've been chasing that big black stallion for a week. We ought to be wise to all his tricks for now. And not to miss him this time. Right. Tenno, you fellas circle to the left. Bud, you fellas go right. Harris and I'll hit for the middle. Right with that. <laughs> Looks like you're going to keep your promise after all, Bob. When your boy gets here, the stallion will be waiting for him. Yeah, I'm sure glad. Oh, thanks a lot for your help, fellas. So long, fellas. <laughs> Mighty wild critter, though, seems to me. Yeah, maybe that black devil won't make such a great present for Bobby after all. That's right. Still, given the right treatment, you can gentle any animal, I think. Well, you ought to know, Bob. You've broken enough of those Bronx. Talking of breaking, I understand you're breaking away from the range. Here, tell you've been doing some prospecting in the Badlands. You know how people talk. Great Scott, look at the time. I didn't realize it took us so long. That train must be there by now. Thanks again for everything, Sam. That's okay, Bob. What'd you find out? Nothing. He's keeping his mouth shut. But it didn't take him a week to catch that stallion for nothing. Did you ever notice whenever that herd would hide out in the Badlands, Brand wouldn't follow? Yeah, he gave up the chase. But what's that got to Use do? Use your head, Gilman. You don't think Brand is afraid of that crazy old Indian living up there, do you? 
No, but, uh... He just didn't want us poking around too much. I wouldn't be surprised if Bran hasn't got an idea that Lost Mine is located up there in that section. Yeah, maybe he's already found it. I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out. And if he has, we're taking over. It won't be too hard to get rid of him. No, that won't be tough. But how about that kid of his that's coming in this afternoon? Kids have a way of getting into trouble, Gilman. They, uh, have accidents. What we found. Bobby. Hello. Oh, Dad. Hello, Bobby. I thought you were at the station. Gee, it's good to have you here. Big for his age, isn't he? He sure is. Takes after you, Bob. I hope not. He's got a mouse or something when he grows up. Daddy, did you get him? Him? Who? A horse like you wrote to him. Oh, you bet your life I did. You don't think I'd let you down, do you? No, but where is he? Home. Can we go home now? Right this minute. You see how it is. I have to be on my way uh, pressing family matters. Go get his suitcase, Dad. Oh, sure. There the reins, Bobby. Don't forget to come back and see me, Bobby. I won't. Here's his trappings. Thanks. So long. So long. Say, Bob, now that the kid's here, I hope you'll stop going into the Badlands looking for that lost mine. Can't stop now. I feel I've hit on to something. Be careful. That Indian who lives up there gets some queer notions every once in a while. I don't think he'll bother me. So long, Mac. So long. Bye. Bye. I call him because he was the leader of a large wild herd. He's only wild because he grew up in the forest. <coughs> Is he really mine, Dad? You bet your life, all yours. Come here, King. I think I'll go and pet him. Uh, I think I'd wait till he gets to know you a little better. <laughs> Up your bunk. Here's something you won't be needing anymore. Are you a two gun man, Dad? <laughs> they don't have two gun men anymore. And why do you wear two guns? Well, your granddaddy wore these. He taught me to. It's just habit, I guess. Can't you shoot them? Well, if I have to, I'd rather not, though. Come on, let's wash up before we fix supper, huh? I bet you're pretty quick on the drawer. Well, just like that. Come on, Bobby, and help me break King. Okay, Dad. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mine wouldn't be lost. Keep your mouth shut and use your eyes. He's shooting at us. Why should he? Well, I'm not waiting to find out. Bobby, these days the cowboy just isn't a cowboy unless he can whack away at a guitar. Then I'm going to be awful busy, what with going to school, learning how to run the ranch, and taking lessons on a guitar. <laughs> well, with that outfit you got on there today, you look like you're about ready to take this ranch over. Boy, I like it out here. There's no noise like in New York. It's nice and quiet. Well, I'm going to put a stop to that right now. Sit right down here and make yourself comfortable and listen. Get along, little doggies, get along, they're slow. The fiery and the snuffy are raring to go. Oh, when I die, take my saddle from the wall, put it on my pony, lead him out of his stall. I'm a bones to his back, head our faces to the west, and we'll ride the prairie that we love the best. Ride around the little doggies, ride around them slow. Fiery and the snuffy are There, how's that for noise? It's sure better than those automobile horns. Well, <laughs> thank you, partner. I want to talk to you, Brand. Hi, Sam. You've been up with the Badlands quite a lot lately, haven't you? Yeah, why? Anybody ever take a shot at you? Shot? Who'd do that? 
Well, it seems mighty peculiar. Every time Gilman and I go up there, we get shot at. But nobody ever shoots at you. Now, wait just a minute, Sam. What are you getting at? I think you found out something about that lost mine. And I also think you're in cahoots with that Indian to keep everybody else away. You're crazy, Harrison. I've been looking for the mine, sure, but I haven't found it yet. You're a liar. What? You... <laughs> Get up and get out of here and stay off of this ranch, Harrison. I'm not forgetting this or that Indian brand. Gee, Dad, you sure gave it to him. I bet you could lick just about anybody. I wouldn't bet too much on that, son. What was he saying about a lost mine, Dad? Well, according to some old Indian stories, there is a lost mine up in the hills somewhere. Golly. Yeah. If we could find it, it'd take care of this ranch. Take care of your future, too. You know, your mom and I always kind of figured maybe you'd be president someday. President? Yeah. I guess it'd be all right if King was vice president. <laughs> Looks like a herd ran over you. That brand's mighty good with his dukes. He ran me off of the place. Now look, you get back to the ranch, hide out, and find out what's going on back there. Good morning, Mrs. Possum.
enough to do around the ranch here. I'm leaving you in charge, you know. Honest, Dad, in charge of the ranch? You betcha. Now, a lot of people might think that a pretty big responsibility for a little fellow like you, but I figure you're up to it. You see, the sooner you start taking on a man's responsibilities, the better. I want you to be independent, learn self-reliance. Then I'll know if anything ever happens to me, you'll be able to look out for yourself. I could too, I betcha. That's right, son. been acting up, and Daddy tied him in the corral. He didn't like it, and neither did I. First thing I knew, he kicked down the fence and ran away as fast as he could go, and me right after him. down a steep little hill. Then he slipped and fell and hurt his leg. I was scared he'd be lame or something because he couldn't get up. I didn't know what to do, but I couldn't leave him there. After a while, King fell asleep. So did I, there by the edge of the forest. Never knowing my dad was pretty frightened when I didn't come home. He and his men searched all night. Get that horse. He's mine. My father caught him for me. Him, King Stalin of Herd. Many men try to catch him. Him, fine animal, but mean. Very mean horse. He is not. He isn't mean at all. I see. Him not mean with you. Good. Animal knows good man. Bad man. You betcha. Hey, are you a real Indian? <laughs> me real, all right. Me, uh, a storm cloud. Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Stormcloud. I'm Bobby Brand. Little Brand. 
Me hear much of your father. Him do many good things for my people on reservation. Is that where you live? Sometimes, but storm cloud, best to live in hill by self. Don't you get lonesome all by yourself? Me same as you. Have many friends among animals. Big animals, little animals, many friends. I'd like to meet your friends someday, but I guess I won't have much time. I've got to help my dad with the ranch. He owes lots of money, and that Mr. Harrison is trying to find the mine ahead of my father. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the storm cloud not so fast following words of a small brand. Your father search for lost mine? Uh-huh, but that mine sure must be extra lost. He can't find it. So maybe strong cloud can help a man who help his people. Gee, would you how? Me tell story. Cowboys and Indians? A true story about my father's and yours of many moons ago. Long time ago, many white men come to these hills, look for gold. Chase all my people away from hunting ground. My people fight, but no good. They are all chased away, and white men started digging through hills for yellow rocks. Then big chiefs of many tribes have meeting. They hold council of war, make big attack on white men. And many braves do war dance. And the war drums make big noise. And while my people are having war council, a young white man with a little sound like you is finding a vein in hills of much gold. Then just at this time, my people attack. day. Little Brand and many good men too, because there were so many bad men among them. And this was the Bible. It has passed down from father to son. And always my people have been sorry about the good people who died that day. I want you to have this Bible. Gee, thanks, Mr. Stormcloud. That was some story. But first, I'm going to put something in this Bible. Then I want you to give it to your father. You bet you, Mr. Stormcloud. And then he gave me the Bible and brought me home right to the house. You mean he drew this map right in front of you? You bet you. <laughs> and he said you were good to his people and that I was good to animals and that he wanted somebody good like you to have the lost mine. Does it mean we're going to have our very own gold mine? Maybe. Maybe not. I'll believe that lost mine when I see it. I tell you, I'll go look into it, and you look after the place here, huh? You don't think Brand's just going to let you walk in and swipe that Bible, do you? If he gets in the way, I'll take care of him. Yeah, but what about the kid? Don't worry, there won't be any witnesses. But it won't look too good to McKay and his rangers if either Brand or the kid have talked about that fight I had with Brand. Yeah, but if you kill Brand, they're sure to pin it on you. So what are you going to do? Apologize. Shake hands with our friend, Mr. Brand. Might be a good idea to let folks know there's no hard feelings. Pals again, Gilman. Just good pals. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
You're not hurt, are you, Bobby? Yeah. Jimmy, say hello to Bobby. Shake hands with Bobby, Jimmy. You didn't get a chance to meet each other before. I like animals. So do I. You know, animals are more dependable than most humans. They don't lie or cheat or kill wantonly. Don't gossip or chew your ear off with idle conversation. Well, Jimmy, you better see what's keeping Nancy. She's almost an hour late already. Oh, you're fooling. He didn't understand what you said. Yes, he does. Every word? That's right. And can he talk, too? All animals can talk. Trouble is, we don't understand them, that's all. Can King talk? Sure, horse talk. By the way, how are you and King getting along? Fine. King and me are great pals. Like uh, you and the little bear? No, King don't knock me down like Fuzzy. Oh. <coughs> Hear that? He didn't say nothing. Certainly. He said Nancy was just now coming up the trail. Hello. Hello. Am I glad you're still here, Bobby? I've got a problem. What's a problem? This is a problem. Time six. What's the matter with them? They're hungry. Why don't you feed them? Only their mother can do that. She disappeared yesterday and hasn't come back. Let me take your problem. I'll be jiggered. Hello, Bob. I didn't expect to see you around here, Harrison. I wanted to see you, Bob. I'd like to apologize for those things I said to you. I guess I was just hot under the collar from that Indian shooting at me. Want to forget it? Okay, Sam, we'll forget it. Bobby, it's getting late. You ready for some dinner? When it comes to eating, I'm always ready. Good boy. Here we go. Bye. Now that you found the mine, I guess King can have a real saddle, can't he? Well, I'm not so sure he's ready for one yet, son. He's ready for me, I bet you. Well, that could be. I don't know. Oh, you did? Gee, he's a keen horse. Well, I'm glad you like him, son. You know any real cowboy songs? I reckon I do. If you feel like singing one, I wouldn't mind listening. <laughs> okay, grab yourself a front row seat, and we'll see what we can do. Well, old Bobby Brand's horse was wild and black till he found old Bobby in the middle of his back singing tie yi yippee yi yippee yi hey come tie yi yippee yi hey well, he jumped and he ran and the dust just flew, but old Bob stuck on like a soul on a shoe. Come a tie, I yippee, I yippee, I hey, come a tie, I yippee, I hey. With 
the ten dollar horse and the forty dollar saddle. He's a going to punch in them Texas cattle. Come a tie, yippee, 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 come a tie, yippee, Well, it's cloudy in the west and looking like rain, and his darn old slicker's in the wagon again. Come a tie, yippee, yippee, come a tie, yippee, Well, it's bacon and beans most every day. He'd as soon be eating that prairie hay. Well, his old boss is a fine old boss. He went to see his gal on a saw back horse. Come a tie, yippee, yippee, come a tie, yippee. Well, he went to the boss to get his roll, and he figured him out nine dollars in the hole. Come a tie, yippee, yippee, come a tie, yippee. He's a going to town to get his money, and he's going home. Well, he wakes in the morning before daylight, and before he sleeps, the moon shines bright. Come a tie, yippee, come a tie, With his feet in the saddle and his seat in the sky, he'll quit punching cows in the sweet by and by. Come a tie, yippee, come a tie, yippee, All right, but the boy may have gotten away. I wonder what could have happened to him. I don't know. Any sign of Brandry's kid? The boy may have gotten away. The black horse was gone. Come on, you fellas, let's get busy. We'll set a backfire first break. got away somehow. Maybe on that horse or whoever else shot Brand and set the fire she carried him off. Hey, 
Jeff. Get some fellas and set a fire break over there before the wind changes. Get some men with some axes down there and chop the brush on the other side of that string. Yeah. Okay. Personally, I don't hold much hope for finding. If he got scared to cook off on his own in these woods, he doesn't have much chance. And if he was carried off, not likely that we'll see him again. He probably knew too much for somebody's comfort. Who'd harm a little boy like Bobby? Poor kid. If we get this fire under control, we'll organize a searching party and find him. Start taking on a man's responsibilities, the better. I want you to be independent, learn to rely on yourself. Then I'll know if anything ever happens to me, you'll be able to look out for yourself. Well, hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Any news of the kid yet? That's here. to get together for a little while. Besides, there are some things I want to tell you.
I didn't know then that Mr. Harrison was still after me. I gave the king his head, just like Daddy told me. And the king started right for Wild Horse Canyon. just located the herd over the ridge. I bet we won't have any trouble finding that kid now. You no kill his little boy. Me a stop. Oh, yeah?
Just like it said in the book, to have friends, a man must be a friend. <laughs> 